everyone, welcome! My name is Bonnie and today I'm going to be unboxing the September 2020 BAM Geek Box. This is the first BAM Geek Box that I have bought. I saw advertisements for it everywhere and I liked all of the franchises that were in those advertisements. So I was like, okay, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a try. I have opened the BAM Anime Box. That one was sent to me and I liked that one. So I'm hoping that this one is going to meet that same standard. So without further ado, let's just go ahead, cut the tape and open it up. So I'm just going to set this to the side and reach in for the first item. Right on top, we have got a BAM sheet covering up all the goodies within. I've got something very small on top. Oh, we have got a little scratch card. Why don't we go ahead and do this? Get this out of the way. I hope my knife will work, otherwise I'll have to get up to get a coin, so let's see. No win, we have three different symbols. Moving on. Okay, and then we have got another flat item. <laughs> we have got an art card. I don't even remember them um, advertising this franchise, but I will accept this. I will accept this. We have got an art card of Dwight from The Office. This is from an episode, it was like um, Earth Day or something, and he was trying to spread the awareness of recycling. And this was his ultimate form, uh, which was called Recyclops. So that is a very funny art card. I like that a lot. It says, congratulations, this is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring fan art by artist George Vega. So this is an awesome little piece. I don't remember them advertising The Office, but maybe I'm forgetting, but um, I will gladly accept this. Okay, so there is a Funko Pop in here, but it's wrapped in tissue paper. So I'm just gonna pull this out and set it down on the ground so I can save that for last. And then underneath that, there's some more stuff. Let's see. Ooh, I like this. We have got an art print from The Big Lebowski. I almost said The Great Lebowski. The Big Lebowski. Get it out of its plastic. Oh, that looks so good. This is so funky. I like it. It says the dude abides in his glasses and it looks like he has got a white Russian in hand. Um, I'll tell you the truth. It's been a while since I watched this movie, probably before I knew much about mixed alcoholic drinks. So that's either milk or a white Russian. And if it's not, let me know. Um, <laughs> but that looks really cool. It is numbered. I got number 1990 out of 2000. 200 and it is signed up there at the top oh this is so cool wow i have got the pin up next oh oh <laughs> look at that all right we have got a pin from the movie glass this is the beast this is a character that james mcavoy plays i love james mcavoy think is incredibly talented and he did a phenomenal job in this role which included like 15 different roles maybe not that many but it was a very impressive performance but here we have the beast he's looking incredibly ferocious and I do think that this looks like James McAvoy so that's a pretty good likeness on there it says this pin has a limited release on the back I don't know if that means that there are other variants or if that just means there's a limited number because they only sell so many boxes and i also don't know if they number their pins so let me just check on the back real quick no they do not they do put their the ban box information on the back though um but here we have the beast i think we have one more item in the box before we get to the pop it's kind of flush against the bottom and we have a cereal box. It says, Cheery Owls, make breakfast a hoot. Um, Lunfree's Cheery Owls. Now with Scroot oil. Is, 
Is this supposed to be the Harry Potter item? Because there's supposed to be a Harry Potter item and looking at this is making just the tiniest, faintest bell ring in my head. The tiniest bell of recognition. The side says, giving your young wizards and witches Lunfrey's cheery owls for breakfast is your way to start the morning and help them with the challenges the day might bring. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this was in like the background, like in the Great Hall or something. I think I saw like an article that talked about like little hidden things in the movies and they, they talked about this. Cheery owls. So I love a good rare prop replica from Harry Potter, but I feel like this is just taking that to a whole nother unnecessary level. Um, <laughs> your average Harry Potter viewer is not going to know what this is or recognize it. Um, I, an avid Harry Potter watcher, hardly recognize this. So I feel like this was just way too deep of a cut it's a very deep cut, um, and I, I just don't care for the item in itself. And that leads us to our very last item from today's box, which is going to be our Funko Pop. So let's just unveil this together. Oh, nice. We have got a Thanos Funko Pop. We have a Thanos holiday Funko Pop. That's weird. <laughs> um, because uh, it's a September box, but I will take it. This is a huge pop. I don't have a Thanos Funko Pop, but um, it was signed in purple here on the front. It's a little hard to see because it matches his skin tone, but I can respect the color choice because Thanos and purple go together. I can read the first name. It says Isaac something. I'll have to check the recap sheet to see who it was exactly that signed it. Um, we have got the Beckett Certificate of Authenticity there in the back. Um, yeah, I don't know if this was like a voice actor or an artist, like a comic book artist or something, so I will have to check. Let's do that right now. And then we have our BAM Geek September box number nine recap sheet. Fall is here and with the leaves starting to turn, we decided to celebrate a new season with a Funko Pop in every box. That's very cool. Um, so I'm not going to read all of this because it will take me 10 minutes to do so. So I am just going to scan ahead and get the names. So for our celebrity autograph, we got this signed by Isaac C. Singleton Jr., who has been voicing Thanos since the early 2000s. That's awesome. And you could have not only received the holiday Thanos, but you could have received the Venomized. So there were two different pops that you could have gotten. I'm happier with the holiday pop than the Venomized. I'm not a fan of the Venomized series. Um, it is still random to me that it's a holiday Thanos, but I assume that they got it because it was like the most readily available Thanos pop or perhaps just the most cheap <laughs> Thanos Funko pop. Um, and then we have our fan art pin that was done by Brian Romero. And if you look at the bottom of the recap sheet, there are actually some variants you could have received. So there was two Samuel L. Jackson ones and a Bruce Willis. But I am happy with the one I got because I am a James McAvoy fan. The fan art print was done by Carrie Milburn. That is fantastic. And again, there are more variants. Down at the bottom, you have two different shades of green instead of having this colorful one. I really like this colorful one. I'm glad I got this one instead of a variant. I think this is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And then we come to our prop replica, and I'll just read this blurb out to you. It says, we couldn't send you to Hogwarts, so we thought we'd bring a little taste of Harry Potter's world to you instead. With this box of cheery owls, you can sit down and decide which house to join over a nice breakfast. Now, it's not about deciding which house you would like to join. It's about where you would truly fit in. But then we come to our last item, which is the artist select card. 
and this was done by George Vega. And there is actually a variant with a red background that you could have received. So that is everything that we received in our September 2020 BAM Geek Box. And that is it. That is everything I have to show you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it. And if you would like to subscribe and you have not yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.